Today I am answering one of your art questions about color matching using tablets or phones. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. I have a frequently asked questions page over on my website. That link is below in the video description. If you cannot find the answer to your question, there is a link where you can submit your own question to be featured in one of these videos. Jill writes, I have a question about identifying colors. Even with a great reference photo, it's sometimes difficult to identify color, especially in shadowed areas. I use the eyedropper tool on my desktop computer, which is a great help in getting the values right. But if I'm out in one of my art groups, I only have my tablet. I've downloaded numerous apps which don't include this facility. The tablet version seem to be much more restricted. I've seen you use this technique occasionally in critiques and wonder if you have been able to achieve it on a tablet and if so, which app you use. I'm sure it is something others would find useful. I've been signed up to Patreon for some time now and I have learned so much from watching the attention to detail in your videos. I see a big improvement in my own work since finding you. Thank you. Thanks also for recommending Jason Morgan and Wildlife Reference Photos, both great sites. Best wishes, Jill. I'm so glad to hear that Patreon is helping you out. For your actual question, I use Sketchbook by Autodesk. And I believe this is available on iPhone as well as Android. I use the Android version. So the screenshots that I'm gonna be showing you here are for Android. Okay, so to start with, I am going to open up the app. Now, opening the image depends on the version that you're using of this app. For me, on this one, I'm gonna open it from this top menu. You may have to play around with yours to figure out where to open your image. I'm going to go to my gallery and open one of the photos for my camera. Once I choose that, it'll open right up into the app itself. So now I have my image. The upper left hand or upper right hand corner, you can see we've got layers there. So here you can drag the layers, change the position, all of that stuff. Like any app, you're just going to have to play around with it to get the hang of it because it doesn't come with very good instructions. If you click on it, you will have another menu pop up, so you've got more options there. Now that rainbow circle up at the top, if I click on that, there's an eyedropper tool at the upper left hand corner. By clicking on that, it opens up this target and I can drag this target around to any area I want so that I can match whatever color that I'm looking for. So here I've zoomed in on my pepper shaker chicken because that's something everybody has, right? Now I can actually color in a large section so I can really see that color. And when I open the color wheel, I can see where on the color wheel that that specific color falls. So this is going to make it much easier for me to determine one color to the next. And I can continuously do this, choose a color, mark it on my second layer. You can do it on the first layer if you've got room here. It's just easier for me to do it on the second layer so I can delete it or erase it without erasing my other image. But that's a whole other lesson. And every time I open the color wheel, whichever color I last targeted is right there on that color wheel. So again, I can easily see where that color falls. Is it more gray? Is it more saturated with green? In this case, all of the greens, like the green placemats I have here, they're actually kind of a yellowish gray color more than the green I would think to use. So it makes it really easy to choose your color by using these tools. Again, just keep clicking that color wheel to see the last color that you chose and then the eyedropper tool again. If you missed the video where I was talking about how I color match, I go a little bit further into this where I'm using it in Photoshop and I will have a video pop up, a card will pop up in the upper right hand corner if you want to check that out. Now this is a great tool because it's something that you're going to have with you wherever you go. I use it more on my phone than I do on my tablet, but it works fine on both. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, art Q&A or social media tips for artists each Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, Plus. all of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys in a couple of days.